seven. Black Eagle, deep impact arrows. As I stand, the Grim Reaper broadhead, mechanical broadhead. Clean shot, lighted knocks. I'm telling you, brightest knocks on the market. They're just perfect. And then I'm also testing, um, on this trip, my Trophy Ridge React Trio. Just absolutely fabulous fun in South Africa. Well, Mac Aedis Journey Hunts, we're going to do the quickest track ever because there are vultures coming in on my Impala. Shot him right there. Here is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful arrow. Look at that blood-stained black eagle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, broadhead action right there. Just tore it up. Let's see. I can see where the vultures are, so I know where he's at. But let's just see if we can pick up the blood. We're going to go right to where the birds are because that's where he's going to be. Fact. I think I can see an Impala right there. Look at Bailey. Come on in here. Look at that. He didn't even go what? 60 yards? See him underneath there? Beautiful. Let's go check him out. Smoked. Black Eagle arrows. This beautiful broadhead from Grim Reaper. They're mechanical. That's been on the market forever. We're going to shoot it again just to say we can on something. But we had the vultures. Look at the vultures. Look at, film them. Look at the vultures. This, folks, is Africa. This is what happens when stuff dies in Africa. I hope they didn't get to him because he's a dandy, I believe. They did get to him. It looks like it, maybe. Let's check. Nope, I don't think they did. Oh my, oh my. They got his eyes. Look at that hole. That, folks, is cutting action right there. But they did get his eyes. They would have done some damage, a little cut in the air. They would have tore this thing up, folks, in a matter of minutes. One time, Taco and I were here, and we saw an Impala down. Uh, it was an Impala that was killed actually by a leopard and we sat on it hoping that a leopard would come back so we could see it and next thing you know the vultures came in 15 minutes there was no meat on that Impala and so we had to rush out here and get it they did get one eye um, hammered this thing I want to look over yeah he's nice he's really nice I want to look at the other side and see what this broadhead did oh yeah yeah, that was a that was a lung double lung punch right there. We got some beautiful hole action going on there. So this is one beautiful impala. Ah, thank you, Lord, folks. This is what happens. This impala um, shot him a, an hour or so ago. We were staying in the blind, hoping zebras would come. But uh, what we've got going on here is this Impala brought all this on. Look at straight up here, Bailey. Go way up. Get them all. Look at all these vultures waiting to pounce on this. There's a ton of them up here. And that's what happens. It just turns into a, a, a just crazed situation when stuff dies here because everything eats us. I've seen elands in the night that if you don't recover them, there's nothing but the head left in the morning from hyenas and leopard and jackals and everything else. If we would have let this thing here another five to ten minutes, I would have had probably lost the cape on this uh, on this Impala because they just they just go crazy. You know, we're here and uh, sitting in a blind, and you just see anything from 50, 60, 70, 100, 200, sometimes 400 animals in any given sit. And one of the animals that I've shot uh, a few of, but just haven't really shot a very good one yet, just a bunch of normal average impala for the rest of the country um, was uh, about 21 22 inches and uh, and so this guy came in today and I got excited about him and 
and we were sitting, we're waiting on a zebra for Bailey, and he just looked beautiful. He's got a good shelf. He's got good uppers. Um, stood broadside at the salt just a little bit too long. Plus, I had to do a broadhead test. So I did a broadhead test for a Grim Reaper with their mechanical broadhead on my uh, deep impact arrow from Black Eagle Arrows. And I've got to tell you, the holes that it punched through here, this thing went about 60 yards, punched two great holes in it. Um, just fabulous, fabulous performance on that broadhead on this Impala. Um, this really is just a significant animal in South Africa. If you come to Africa, an Impala has to be a part of your package. It just says Africa. And so we love coming here. We love hunting. We love the results. And uh, again, this Bear Archery Agenda 7, 7 just punched a hole right in. And also testing my uh, React Trio. And uh, no problem at about 15 yards, just tuned him in, lit him up, ran off, dead, done deal. Mac Adis, Journey Hunts.